This is Guangzhou, formerly known as Canton. Population of about 10 to 15 million. It's the main city in the fastest growing economy, in the fastest growing province, in the fastest growing country in the last 30 years. Now increasingly, Guangzhou is becoming known for sustainable transport. Guangzhou won the International Sustainable Transportation Award this year because of their remarkable new bus rapid transit system. We promote uh, bus rapid transit in China to solve the transportation congestion problems. BRT it means bus rapid transit. One word is surface level metro. It's used the high capacity bus and the new bus technology. And it's a real uh, bus priority method. What the Guangzhou BRT has done is to raise the bar. So this is more than three times bigger than any other BRT system in Asia. Well, 800,000 passengers a day, 27,000 passengers per hour carried in a single direction. Uh, I think, I think BRT uh, first of all, to us, to uh we have 23 kilometers and this is the first corridor and I have 26 stations and our station is prepaid. People pay before to enter the station and so when they board in a bus and they don't need to pay again. And our station is different size. Uh, for example, in the city center and have a lot of people, then the station is very big. It's four modules and uh, more than 240 meters long, the suburban area and uh, it's small, it's 60 meters, so we design the station according to the demand. Buses can overtake other buses, so if one bus is stopped at one substop, the bus behind at a previous one can, can move in and take over, it doesn't have to wait behind that. The Guangzhou BRT is also a direct service BRT, so that means that the buses come in and out of the BRT corridor without the passengers needing to transfer, to stop at the end and to transfer to another line. So you won't see any interchanges, you won't see any transfer terminals. That's because the buses can continue outside the corridor. I also think about uh, multimodal integration. And for example, in, on this corridor, we have three metro stations integrated with our BRT station. And along the all the BRT stations, uh, we need on the bike stations. Uh, it's the first BRT system in China to include bicycles in the design. So now we have 5,000 bikes in 113 stations along the BRT corridor in a public bike system. And there were also about 5,500 uh, bike parking positions included in the BRT design.因为家里这边比较近在一个也自己可以控制上班时间嘛 we also planned the nice pedestrian plaza and the urban design along this corridor, also the bicycle facility improvement. So now we are uh, in planning phase to choose the second corridor. And we want to build another one and then can also build a better one. So what we hope now is that new systems can come out and can improve on, on the Guangzhou system.